Good morning and thank you for joining us for today's service at New Testament Bible Church. Let's join Pastor Malcolm Milam for today's message. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it reads, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Yes, Lord. In all your ways acknowledge him yes. and he shall direct your path. Yes. Trust in the Lord with all your heart yes. and lean not to your own understanding. Yes. In all your ways acknowledge him. In all your ways yes. acknowledge him yes. and he shall direct your path. Yes. You may be seated. Yes. Trust. Trust, trust, a firm belief in honesty, truthfulness, justice, or power of a person or a thing. Confident expectation or hope. Trust, the assured resting of the mind of one person on the integrity, honor, justice, love, truth, or any other sound principle in another. For the past several weeks, we've been talking about Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. We've focused on Daniel. Uh, I'll tip my hand to next week. We're going to start talking about friendship, where we're going to come from this same book. However, we're talking about trust, and what we're going to get into today is about Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. We've been talking about Daniel. But now we're going to talk about Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes when you have these discussions about Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, we forget that these brothers were friends. Yeah, we know we lump them all together, but we kind of we don't get to the subject matter of friendship. Mm -hmm. And so when you have good friends, when you have people that you can count on, when you have people uh, you can depend on, mm -hmm. we label that tr good friends, trust. Yes. Yeah. Amen. You can trust that your friends are going to tell you the truth. You can trust your friends perhaps may help you out if they're able to. You can trust that. Amen. And so when you look at Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, these brothers really didn't get their just due. And what I mean by just due, they, you really didn't, we really didn't hone on, on, on them until they got to the fire furnace. Mm -hmm. So if you go through Daniel, you hear about them being captives, and then you go through uh, them praying for the dreams. But essentially what Daniel did, every time, every time he was, uh, every time he got a, a, a promotion, Daniel said, don't forget about Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Hey, you know what? Let me hook them up with a job too. So you made me this. Let me go to the king and say, hey, I need you to hook, hook my three friends up. Yeah. So every time Daniel, every time Daniel rose or elevated, his friends rose and elevated. Amen. Consider that. Friendship. Friends. Every time you do well, <laughs> right. your friends do well. Oh, yeah. Amen. But then, and this is this is where it gets wow. This is where it gets really uh, challenging when it comes to friendship and friends. Sometimes folks who you think are your friends are really not friends. Sometimes people have seasons mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. And so you may have a relationship with them for a moment, but they may not stick to you. They may not be with you like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You got to think all the stuff that we talked about with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I said Meshach, Meshach, and Abednego. And Belshazzar, Daniel, 
They were friends pushing 20, 30 years. You remember we talked about Daniel in the lines. He was 90 years old. He was taken into captivity between the ages of 18 and 20. Good friends. That's just a highlight for next week. Our foundation scripture is uh, in Daniel 3, 23 through 27. 3, 23 through 27. Uh, New King James Version of Scripture reads, So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego securely tied fell into the roaring flames. But suddenly, Nebuchadnezzar jumped up in amazement and exclaimed to his advisors, Didn't we tie up three men and throw them into the furnace? Yes, Your Majesty. We certainly did, they replied. Look! Nebuchadnezzar shouted, I see four men unbound walking around in the fire unharmed, and the fourth looks like a god. Then Nebuchadnezzar came as close as he could to the door of the flame, flaming furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servant of the Most High God, come out, come here. Mm -hmm. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stepped out of the fire. Yeah. Then the high priests, officers, officials, governors, and advisors crowded around them and saw that the fire had not touched them. Not a hair on their head was singed, and the clothing was not scorched. They didn't even smell the smoke. Just because you're a believer don't mean that you won't be tossed in the fire. Mm. Okay, okay. Just because you're a believer don't mean <laughs> that you'd be walking around here with K in five mask on. See. Alright. Just because you're a believer mm -hmm. doesn't mean doesn't mean that it won't get icky. Yeah. Yes, that's good. It doesn't mean that. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. And so sometimes what we do or what we believe is just because you have have allowed Jesus Christ into your life, it all is supposed to be smooth sailing. And that's an absolute lie of the devil. Yeah, that's an absolute lie. I would argue that how would you find out if you trust in God if it all was smooth sailing? You really don't know how you're going to act until it gets tight. You don't know how you're going to act. But however, for the mature believer, you go like, hold on, that's something I need to work on. See, the difference between us and other people, some of them act out. Okay. They act out. You say, man, why they acted a fool? They just went off. Mm -hmm. But they said they went left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for, for the mature, I'm using the word mature, because mm -hmm. some believers do go left. Yeah. For the mature believers, they say, hold on, wait a minute, wait, time out. Let me back away from this situation. Mm -hmm. And let me pray for strength. Mm -hmm. Let me pray for patience. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, let me pray for humility because obviously what's going on, I can't handle it. So guess what, Lord? I'm going to let you handle this. I'm going to get out of the way. Mm -hmm. So what we know that's going on with Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, well. Nebuchadnezzar said, hey, in his pride and his arrogance, said, you know what? I'm going to build a statue of myself. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. And every time okay. Brother Bruce and Brother Curtis move the strings, uh -huh. oh boy. Uh -huh. everybody in the region uh -huh. go happy bow down. Uh -huh. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego uh -huh. did quite the crunch here. 
You see that one, girl? Contrary. They make them, you know, me and Christian making them eyes, so later on, she hit me with, yeah, you missed that word. Contrary, yo. As I be trying to get her. You know, yeah. <laughs> right, so we all know I'm going to hear that quandary? <laughs> quandary and contrary mixed together. <laughs> and you know <laughs> that you can make up words <laughs> and then you have to trademark them. And then they can put them in the dictionary. Little brother looking out here like, no, sir, not a word. Me, Sad Jack in the Bindico. They did the contrary. Matter of fact, the relationship that Daniel had with Nebuchadnezzar, he showed them grace. He said, hey, you know what? When they play the strings again, we're going to give you a chance to bow down. You know what they said? They said, no, we're not going to bow down. You don't even got to try it. The God that we serve is going to take care of us, but if he doesn't, See, the, the part that I like about Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, and we're also talking about friends, he said, if he doesn't, if he doesn't, I was going over the, 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 the videos and looking, and, uh, you know, it, it is really important, church, to you that technology to use it. Mm -hmm. Now, I want, you, I want you guys to think about this. What God is doing for our church, mm -hmm. you have no excuse yeah. that's right. That's right. not to get the word. See. Come on now. And so we got about 100 videos of nothing but word on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And so last week, last couple of weeks, I went through uh, Sister Val, mm -hmm. and I went through Brother Jerry. And I'm going through it, and you get the nugget. So in here, you, you, you hear some stuff. Mm -hmm. But then when you start going through the notes, you'll be like, uh-oh. And she said, Sister Valerie said something about her mother. Mm -hmm. And Mama said, yeah, you can go and pray for me, but if it don't, if it doesn't, mm -hmm. How many of you are strong enough to say if it don't work, yeah. I'm still fine. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. How many of you are strong enough to say that? And when you look at Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, and Belshazzar, they were just that strong to trust in God and say, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Throughout that whole book yeah. from the beginning mm -hmm. from the beginning they said man we're not doing this yeah. we ain't going to eat this food we're not going to bow down to you yeah. from the beginning yeah. the little small stuff we thought was small these guys trusted in God from the beginning yeah. captives yeah. Mm. Matter of fact, they had two regiments that they had to deal with. You had to deal with the Medes and the Persians. Mm -hmm. they, were, it, they were captives. Yeah. So today, New Testament Bible Church, I ask you a question. Are you walking in humility? Yeah. What is humility? What, what is humility? Humility. Humility is when you are free from pride and arrogance. Yeah. You know that in your flesh you are inadequate. Yet you also know who you are in Christ. You don't need to defend yourself when you understand the Bible's picture of humility. Yeah. Isaiah 57 and 17, Isaiah 57 and 17 reads, For thus says the high and lofty one, 
who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him who has a contrite and humble spirit. Yeah. I want you to think what the, 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 the first statement says. I dwell in the high and holy place with him who has a contrite and humble spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm not walking out the football field taking off my clothes. Mm -hmm. A contrite and humble spirit. Okay. Amen. Mm -hmm. To revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Are you humble? Do you understand that in your own self, in your flesh, no, nah, I can't do this. Yeah. No, I got to hand this over to the Lord. Right. It's not even in my nature right now even to forgive you. I don't even want to be around you. You know what? Let me, Lord, you're going to have to help me with this. Lord, help me with humility. What we know about these young men is they were courageous. See, now in this 2022 time, you got to be courageous to call yourself a Christian. You got to be courageous to call yourself a believer. All that stuff don't work that y'all doing, will it? Whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you read it, you figure it out we know that all this stuff is coming. Yeah. And scripture says pestilence. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're in pestilence right now. Yeah. And this ain't the end. Mm. Yeah. But for believers, we walk in wisdom, we walk in knowledge, we read the word. Lord, I need one to go here. So what we know is what's going on is that they don't know what's going on. We know they don't know what's going on. But what we know, and it's just, you know, with getting information and knowledge, what we know is, hey, you know, the numbers went down when everybody had their mask on. See, yeah. well. Not 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 the vaccine. <laughs> That's right. Not the boost. Come on now. Yeah. Even though they going to boost me up, I don't care. That's mm -hmm. what it is. What it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, is Pastor Turner Spider Man? Hey, it's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting boosted up again. Oh, but I want you to think about this. What we know. What we know mm -hmm. from what they provided. Mm -hmm. Is when the numbers dip, mm -hmm. it was a mandatory mask. See, um, we know that. Mm -hmm. You can't argue with the numbers. Yep. It's, we know that. That's right. That's right. But you don't want to walk in the wisdom that you provided all the numbers for. Us. We look. We can look at the numbers. Mm -hmm. That one you're supposed to be talking about. Courageous. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Courageous. All right. Listen, courageous is not deterred. By danger or pain, brave. Are you brave? Can we can we can we call you a brave Christian? Can we call you a brave believer? Are you cor cor courageous? All right. Deuteronomy thirty one. And seven, Deuteronomy 31 and 7 says, Then Moses called to Joshua and said to him in the sight of all Israel, Be strong yeah. and of good courage. For you must go with this people to the land which the Lord has sworn to their fathers to give them. And you shall cause them to inherit it. Well. Are you strong and courageous? But then, believers, Christian folks, and I work on this a lot, I work on patience. Mm -hmm. There's a microwave move 
going on in the body of Christ. Wow. It actually, I thought the microwave move was going to stop once all this stuff hit, hit us. But now the microwave move is back. It's quick. Everybody, come on, let's go, let's do. Take a picture. <laughs> Market this, do this. Hey, let's go fast. Let's bring it back in. Let's do it. Like, hold on. Patience. Yeah. Have you not trained your people? Have you not had a relationship and talked to your people about, hey, we're going to take our time with this? Mm -hmm. We're going to continue to go by our God. We, we're going to move depending on what organization and church is. This is the way God told us to move. Mm -hmm. And this is how we're going to do this. We're not going to say the government closes down. We're not going to. Hey, we see, see the church where the government trying to stop us? Hey, hold on, y'all. Yeah, come on, man. We are separate entities. Mm -hmm. yeah. get, your, get, your, get your facts right. Wow. That's don't, don't say you're lying. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're not telling the truth. That's not what they said. Come on, now. All right. Even though they don't know what they're talking about, they did not say that. Right. So are you walking in patience? Patience is the state of endurance. Mm. I like I like this part because when you look at trust in reference to Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they literally have to operate in pa like when you read through it, you see trust through all after. I mean, excuse me, you see patience through all that that scripture. The boys went into the fiery furnace. You had to be patient. There wasn't no jumping around in one day. They didn't even fight. Mm, yeah. Patience. They had to have something inside of them that said, you know what? God going to take care of this. Yes. Wow. But guess what? But if he don't, yes. That's it. even if he don't, patience? Are we operating in patience? It seems like we're learning it now. We're three years in, two years in on this. Patience? We want it quick. Microwave. McDonald's french fries. Yeah, that's right. That's right, yeah. Y'all yeah, working on my deliverance from them. <laughs> Man, do you understand what that Big Mac does to me? Like everybody goes to the other stuff. Give me a Big Mac and some ooh, the most unhealthiest food for a 50 year old. <laughs> no, I don't eat. no, it's bad. It's bad. You, you gotta look what it is. Watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we know what you mean. The <laughs> French fries. The French. Anyway, patience. Are we operating in patience? Look, look. It says patience is the state of enduring under difficult cir circumstances, which can mean persevering in the face of delay. without acting on a noise or a negative way. See, the part of patience that we have to get, I believe that we're getting as believers, you can't be spilling out negative energy out there. That's right. Yeah. You say you love the Lord, but if it don't happen when you when you think it ought to happen, See. you all need this right here. Yeah. Patience? That's right. That's right. Where you at? Mm -hmm. James 1 and 4, it reads, it says, but let patience yes. have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect and entire. Mm -hmm. Well, nothing. Guys, I, uh, I want you to think about this. God honors those who honor him. Yeah, I'm man. I'm <clears throat> God honors those who honor him. First Samuel, first Samuel uh, two and thirty, it says, uh, but now the Lord says, For be it for me, for those who honor me, I will I will honor. And those who despise me. Mm. Those who despise me mm -hmm. shall be lightly esteemed. Mm -hmm. 
God, when you bring all of this together, when you go through all, like literally, when you have a discussion about reading the word, when you look at individuals, The woman with the issue of blood. I can trust him. See, Daniel, Meshach, and Abednego, those, those, those perhaps may have been a little quicker examples of trust. But the woman with the issue of blood had been bleeding, what, 12, 13 years? Yeah. And then she went to the doctor. They took all the money. Did she give up? Matter of fact, she did quite the contrary. Yeah. 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 You know what she said? All this other stuff, you know what I'm going to do? I just got to touch him. I just got to I gotta touch him. I'm just going. That's all I got to do. The faith. Yes. The trust. That's it. Mm -hmm. Man. New Testament Bible Church, NTBC. Do you trust him? Amen. Yes. Amen. In spite of. Yeah. In uh, Matthew 17. Matthew 17 and 20. Matthew 17 and, and 20. Uh, Y'all, 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 you guys know me, and, and, and um, I have to make the word applicable to my life. And so as a, a pastor, a father, a husband, a brother, a son, uh, a coach, a businessman, I, 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 I look in the word and, 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 and I get for me this is where I go get the answers and so what God is committed to what God is committed to is his word that's all he's hey, you, you go to his word and so uh in uh, chapter 17 and again we're talking about trust uh, we started off with the parenting thing we're going to have talking about friends and relationships we're going to get to that uh, next week but in, 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 seven, in chapter 17 uh, verse 14 it says and Scripture reads, and I'm gonna use the new king, I'm gonna use the King James Version. I'm gonna go to the original. With the original before the original before they translate it. You know what I'm talking about. It said, and when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son. I don't know about you guys, but I got older kids. Matter of fact, my parents probably prayed that prayer many times. Lord, please have mercy on you. Yeah. Listen. Listen to this guy. He says, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he's a lunatic. That's the original. This is King James. He's a lunatic. And sore, vexed. For oftentimes he falleth into the fire, and often into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. If you were taking notes, this would be the part that you put patience, humility, and courage. Because what he did was, he went to the people who thought, he didn't go to the doctors. He didn't go to the soothsayers. He didn't go to the magicians. He went to some good show up. He went to Jesus' people. He went to them. He said, I went to your disciples. 
Then Jesus answered and said, <laughs> Oh, faithless <laughs> and perverse generation. Hold up, sir. Wait a minute. Time out. I'm coming to you talking about my son. Mm -hmm. How long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer with you? Bring him hither to me. This discussion that he's having is with his disciples. Yeah. And Jesus rebuked the devil. And he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Mm -hmm. Now if you go to other synoptic gospels. Literally before he walked in his healing. Mm -hmm. He had one more episode. Mm -hmm. One more convulsion. Mm -hmm. Again, we're having a discussion about trust here. Mm -hmm. This brother trusted God so much. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Y'all remember the, 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 the lady whose daughter was sick? And uh, she went to Jesus and said, Hey, I need you to hear my daughter. And Jesus comes out and says, uh, <laughs> I'm paraphrasing here. The food is not even for your people. And then the lady comes back and says, Even the dogs get little crumbs. Yeah. She was fighting. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Jesus said, this, 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 this is not for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sister said, no, even the dogs get a little crumbs. Yeah. Oh. And you know, what she, you know what Jesus said? Because of your faith. Come on now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Then, verse 19, then came the disciples to Jesus. Apart. And then, what, essentially, when you look at the New King James Verse, they said they went to him privately. They mm -hmm. said, Why could we not cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. Mm -hmm. Because of your unbelief. The earthly thing, the worldly thing was, yeah, because my well, well, we tried, we, we we don't believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then Jesus gives us an antidote. Come on. He says, For verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you shall say unto a mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you but then he breaks it down and says how be it <laughs> this kind goeth not out by but by prayer and fasting by prayer and fasting Trusting in God, trusting in God, family, you do have to work. You do have to produce. You do have to pray. You do got to fast. When you look at Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, you know what they did? They prayed. They fasted. Matter of fact, even the operating, the operation of them not eating that food was a fast. Mm -hmm. And so I ask you, are you walking in humility? Are you walking in patience? Are you courageous? Do we just do this on Sundays just to do it? I don't know if it's Psalms 119 that says the thousands are far by my side. Which one, which one is that? All my good Psalms, no words. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. 
Are y'all being the light now? Are you being the light at your school? Are you being the light on your job? When people see you, do they see a believer in Christ? Someone who's humble, who trusts in God? Do they, or do you just fall in line like everybody else did? What we see with Daniel, they didn't fall in line like everybody else did. They were strong in their faith. They were courageous. They were bold. Even when it didn't look good. It didn't look good. How did they end up still in the furnace? How did he end up still in the den of lions? They lied on them. They talked about them. They set up laws against them. This brother's son still after going to the church with the disciples, still wasn't healed. I don't know which scripture says, which book it says, but he says, you know what, Father? I believe, but help my unbelief. Yeah. 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 I like that part because it says to our humanistic side, like, okay, Lord, I'm working on this. This is hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to give me some strength. Mm -hmm. I, I believe, but I, hey, this baby keep jumping in the fire. This baby keep having mm -hmm. convulsions. Yeah. I done went to your disciples. They didn't do nothing. Help my unbelief. Yeah. As grandmother said, if it don't happen, mm -hmm. I'm still fine. Yes, that's it. We don't need We don't need to defend ourselves in this matter. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is whatever. But what you will know, what is guaranteed, that if my last breath is right now, mm -hmm. yeah. it will be for the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. You can guarantee that. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Where it's hell or hot water. Yeah, I see it. it doesn't make a difference. I'm going to stand firm on him. I'm going to continue to trust in him. I'm going to continue to abide in his word. Let's stay. Hallelujah. 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 We bless you, Father. You are good to us, Lord. We trust in you, God. We trust in you, Lord. There is no other God like you. What do you want us to do, Lord? <laughs> what do you want us to do? We are your servants, Father God. Tell us what to do. Tell us how to respond. We bless you, Lord, and we honor you. And all God's people say amen. amen. Did you enjoy today's message? Please give a love offering. Simply go to NewTestamentBibleChurch.com, click the online giving link, and click Give Now. Type in your amount and complete the rest of the form. Thank you for your donation. The journey of life is often unpredictable, and it is important to know your purpose in it. Receive Jesus today and learn about his plan for you. 
He is eagerly waiting to be a part of your life. The first step is salvation. Read Romans 10 and 9 and repeat this prayer. God in heaven, I believe in my heart that Jesus died on the cross for me and that you raised him from the dead. Jesus, I call on you now as my Lord and Savior. Please forgive me of all my sins. I will trust and follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. We look forward to you joining us for our next broadcast. Have a blessed week.